You know what I said before I wouldn't do videos of people dying and shit, but uh, that's like I'm talking about like 911 calls where you can actually hear a real person dying. This is somewhat different in my opinion, like 14 most gruesome torture methods in history. Because it happened in the past and we all know the past had some violent ass shit going on. So I think it kind of flies, I guess, but like, yeah, I won't do like any other video where like, you actually hear a person dying, like real life shit. But if it's fake dying, like a video of like, it's just a parody of shit, I can do that. Like, I'll, I'll do it, but like, because it's not real and shit. Like, Rocka Rocka's Mortal Kombat Annihilation. No, not Mortal Kombat Annihilation. What am I talking about? Fatalities in real life. Like that, I can handle. Because like, it's, I know it's not real in my head. I know it's not real because it's not actually happening. Like, you don't see real murder on YouTube. Because I'm pretty sure that gets taken down real fucking quick. What I'm talking about is like the 911 calls that constantly come out of people actually dying and shit. That gets to my fucking head. And I don't enjoy that, but this, the 14 most gruesome torture methods in history, like I said, happened in the past. We're not actually going to hear like 911 calls and shit. So it's all good. So at least it's my video anyway. Not actually my video. It's like what I choose to do. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. So let's start this shit. 14 most gruesome torture methods in history. Here are the 14 most gruesome torture methods in history. Warning, this video is not for the faint of heart. Oh! Skeletor up in this motherfucker! Number 14, the Heretic's Fork. This torture device consists oh, of a this. metal piece with two Painful. opposed bi-pronged forks attached to a belt or strap. One end of the device was pushed under the chin, the other to the sternum, and the strap was used to secure the victim's neck to the tool while they hung from the ceiling or was somehow oh, suspended I didn't know so about that the they hung from the ceiling, If their heads dropped, the prongs would pierce their throat and chest. Yeah. Number 13, Saw Torture. In this method, the victim was hung upside down so that their blood will rush to their heads and keep them cautious no, don't tell the, the long I think torture going. process. The torturer would then saw through the victim's body until they were ah, half. Medieval times are only fucked up. In order to prolong the agony. Number 12, the Spanish donkey. Of all the torture devices used during the Spanish Inquisition, this was known to be the most gruesome. The victim is put astride naked on a donkey-like apparatus, which is actually a vertical wooden board with a sharp V-wedge on top of it. After mm. which, the torturer would add varying weights to the victim's feet until the wedge finally sliced through the victim's body. Ah, uh, right through the, the balls. Iron Maiden. The Iron Maiden was a torture iron device Maiden. consisting of an iron cabinet with a hinge front and a spike covered in tear oh, sufficient shit. enough to enclose a human being. Once inside its conical frame, the victim would be unable to move due to the great number of steel spikes impaling them from every direction. The interrogator would then scream questions at the victim while poking them with jagged edges. Number 10, the Brazen Bull. Also known oh, as the Sicilian this one. Bull, this is horrible. the Brazen Bull was designed in ancient Greece for its commissioner I think this is what I'm thinking about, where they cook you alive in that shit while you're alive. Yeah, that's the one. It brass bull statue while a fire kindles underneath its belly. The beast's metal underside would turn molten yellow as the human contents were slowly roasted alive. Their skin and muscles would eventually melt right off the bone. Its hollow brass oh, cavity the was skin designed muscle? to amplify the screams and groans through the nostrils. Like melts? Damn! Kettle, making the sound of a roaring bull. Such was the symphonic goal of its inventor, Perlos of Athens. As if being pressure cooked wasn't bad enough, the scorched remains were often fashioned into trinkets and sold at the local market. Medieval times were fucked up. Tub. Known as the punishment of sitting in the tub, this torture method involved decaying alive. A convicted person would be restrained in a wooden tub filled with water to their necks. Their exposed head and face were then painted with milk and honey to attract hungry swarms of flies. Oh, the wild, shit. The executioner would regularly feed the prisoner, forcing them to bathe in their own excrement. After Eesh. a few days, mad uh. worms would comfortably feast and grow while the victim witnessed their own body rot. Number eight, the revolving drum. 
The revolving drum was a torture device similar to a cheese grater, but instead of cheese, it was used to finely shred a human torso. It was a popular tool oh, in Spain for extracting information from prisoners. Any resistance Did I to the medieval times or and this up. Of spikes would be turned, raking against the victim's a human body. Great this grater. Is repeated slowly oh, and slowly just think about it. Yeah. it. Number seven, Chinese bamboo torture. Bamboo oh, is one bamboo. of the fastest growing plants on earth. Some species can grow three feet in just a day and it was only a matter of time before someone observed this as an opportunity for torture while it originated in ancient china it was rumored to have been used on prisoners of war ancient china world doesn't war fuck around as part of the preparation living bamboo is cut sharp and close to the ground to create a bed of speared tips the victim is suspended horizontally above the patch as a plant grows at its natural speed it would pierce through the body and continue oh upward, oh causing one of the most continuous and painful deaths ever imagined Number six, scaphism. The Scaf name scaphism comes from the Greek not, word scaphism, meaning know. scooped or hollowed. It is a less known form of torture that involves a naked captive being chained to a pair of hollowed tree trunks. They were left to float around a stagnant pond while occasionally being force-fed milk and honey. They would develop serious diarrhea, which further attracted insects to devour the moist, exposed flesh. This process would last well over a week. Number Go. five, the Shit. breaking wheel. We're Actually, only at number five. The Catherine huh? wheel. This torture device was designed to break every bone in a victim's body. First, the individual's limbs are tied to the spokes of a large wooden wheel. It would then be revolved slowly as a torturer randomly smashed bones with an iron hammer. Once they were finished with shattering the skeleton, the mangled person would be left out, sometimes taking many days to die of dehydration. All the while, birds would pick at the bloody, swollen heap of bone fragments and skin. In more merciful situations, the executioner would get orders to deliver a coup de grace or a final blow to the chest and end the suffering. Number four. They were bloodthirsty, man. Rat torture was a slow process that required very Just by the name fine of it. materials. Rats, a metal bowl or bucket, and a torch. It was Gotta first go with the classics. during the Dutch revolt of the 16th century. First, a prisoner was tied naked to a table, belly side up. Disease-infected rats were then placed inside a metal container with its open side strapped to the victim's body. A torch would be used to heat up the metal bowl, making the rats frantic. As the rats panicked, they would try to escape the hot metal container with no way out except through the victim's flesh. They'd claw, dig, and gnaw their way through, eventually causing death through disembowelment. Number three, the Judas Cradle. The Spanish Inquisition was known for its many torture devices. No one the expects Judas Cradle the Spanish was the Inquisition. Painful. Closely related to I the just had to say that. this gruesome punishment involves sitting a victim atop a raised wooden pyramid, with their hands and legs being pulled down by ropes. The seat would rip open the victim's anal orifice oh, over an extended Oh, the ass, man, the ass. The seat was done naked, and the seat was That's where watched. shit comes so out of it. If the torturing process didn't kill you, infection eventually would. Number two, the rack. Feared to be the most painful device of medieval torture, the rack was designed to dislocate every joint in a victim's body. It was first used on early Christian martyrs, such as Vincent of Saragossa. The structure of this piece is a large wooden frame with rollers at the top and at the bottom of it. The arms and legs were securely bound to these rollers, and as the torturers turned a wheel, the restraints would tighten. Each turn would dislocate more and more joints until all limbs were completely torn off the victim's torso. The rack was so disturbing that during interrogations, forcing a prisoner to watch this torture device was more than enough to get them talking. What? Number one. Impalement. This was That's the gonna be number execution one. method of Vlad the Impaler of 15th Vlad, century man, Roman. Crazy Impalements fuck. involved bending a person over, then forcing them to sit upon a sharp, thick pole. The pole is ass, man. Angry, Come on, and that's slide your through the person, ass. Thus skewering the body. This could sometimes take up to three days, depending on the victim's weight. A horrendous event was once told of Vlad the Impaler, in which he ordered and watched this done to 20,000 people while enjoying a meal. Just a common Monday for him. Painful ways to die by subscribing or clicking on one of the links below. Wait, heroin, anaconda, cocaine, LNS, and then a tiger, okay? Yeah, LNS, whatever that is. Sure. What the fuck is that guy's, up was that guy's teeth right there? 10 scariest diseases in the world. 
That's fucked. I, I, the tease on that sh- fucking guy. So like I was... I'm gonna small screen that shit because I can't stand watching it anymore. I don't want to look at that picture anymore. Well, that didn't help. Okay, new tab. There we go. So yeah, medieval times, man. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit. I'm s- just be glad that none of us were born in medieval times. Because basically face it, none of us would survive. I don't know, different time back then because everybody was Christian and shit. If you weren't, they didn't believe in God, they think you were like the spawn of Satan and you automatically got killed for that shit. That's the Christian duty, huh? Watch as so many Christians come after me right now for just for saying that. But uh, yeah, turning away from that. Vlad the Impaler, the sickest of them all, he lives up to his name. Yeah, Vlad the Impaler, because he's the Impaler, it says it in his name. But yeah, those are some intense torture methods in the medieval, medieval times. Maybe some still have it around today. Yeah, they do have it around today, but they don't use it. Well, not that we know of, because there are pretty much sick fucks out there that do do that sometimes. You never know, because there are some sick fucks out there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Take it easy. Humanoid freak out. Bye.